Perfect day to start classes if you're a University of Alabama freshman. It is quite a warm welcome to the capstone. And UA continuing its annual tradition. The class of 2027 coming together inside Bryant Denny Stadium to make a giant script A. This is pretty cool. Tens of thousands of students, though, had to deal with that oppressive heat while walking to class today. There's also those potential first day jitters for freshmen. Brian Henry was on campus today for all of it. <laughs> Liquid gold at the University of Alabama. Bottles of water are being trucked in, handed out in random fashion all over campus, something Alabama junior Kawana Morris looked forward to getting her hands on at some point. Dealing with the heat has been Morris's toughest assignment so far, Ooh. but she is handling it with a touch of humor. Dealing with the heat has been tedious. I bought a fan yesterday to keep in my bag, and today has proven to me that I need it on me at all times because I am sweating my finger waves out. Morris is not alone. The heat is definitely different from Massachusetts. Freshman Anna Frangrelli is a long way from home. She finds the heat stifling, but no regrets about starting her college years in the Deep South. Just going inside the classrooms where it's nice AC or going inside a building, drinking a lot of water. The heat aside, UA is sizzling in another way, the area of enrollment. University leaders say it's too early to say what the overall enrollment will be, but they do know that they have broken the freshman record of more than 8,000. Yeah, it is a really exciting day. Dr. Stephen Hood is the vice president of Student Life. Well over 8,000 new freshmen and other transfer students. It brings a new energy for students that are, are looking forward to get acc getting acclimated. Day one at UA, the oppressive heat and first day jitters greeted many freshmen like Taylor Yarbrough. It's kind of exciting, but also nerve wracking because I don't know where anything is. Just know that that's normal to feel confused or uncertain about what's next. The fall semester is well underway at UA. First day confusion in the midst of an outdoor sweat bath. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side. And Dr. Stephen Hood says the university will have that overall enrollment numbers once they finish their official census count, and that won't happen until mid-September.